Mueller's redacted report putting renewed focus on how the Russians sought to interfere in this 2016 election process. But what about what they are up to now? Moscow has just confirmed that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un will visit Russia later this month in his first ever meeting with Vladimir Putin. The announcement comes on the same day that the rogue regime claims to have tested a tactical guided weapon and says it no longer wishes to negotiate with the United States Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, but rather someone, and this is their quote, who is more careful and mature in communicating with us. Earlier, I spoke exclusively with U.S. Ambassador to Germany, Richard Grinnell. First of all, your reaction to this North Korean situation. What do you think is at work here? Well, look, I think Secretary Pompeo has got tough diplomacy going on, and he's drawn a line, and he knows what's at stake. So uh, we fully support the Secretary of State and the President, and all the way on down with the national security team, I think they're holding the line. But do you think that North Korea and Russia are trying to sort of nose us out of what's going on in terms of the progress in these talks? Look, I, I wouldn't put anything past the Russians. The Russians, for a very long time, have tried to use malign activities and destabilize, for, certainly here in Europe. I mean, look what they've done in Europe. They've done a land grab in Crimea. They've shot down a passenger jet, killing 298 people. They've used chemical weapons, a weapon of mass destruction, on European soil uh, to, to go after the Skirpols. Um, and, and nothing is uh, is off the table for them. They they have been interfering in elections for a very long time. I've written this before I became ambassador. I had been writing about what the Russians were doing in Eastern Europe uh, during elections mm -hmm. and trying to destabilize political parties. They've done this for a very long time. No one should be surprised. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of controversy obviously going on with uh, the South Bend mayor Pete Buttigieg who has been sort of in a war of words with Vice President Pence. And you uh, obviously have spoken out quite, quite openly um, about being, uh, being gay for U.S. ambassador to Germany. Do you have any thoughts? You know, first of all, let me play this, this soundbite from Pete Buttigieg um, so you can get a sense of what he's saying. And, and I want to get your reaction to it, if I may. This is somebody who was against Don't Ask, Don't Tell because he felt it was too pro-gay. He wanted to make sure that even closeted members mm. couldn't surf. So he went on to say that this is why he has this open dispute going on right now with the vice president. What do you say to that, Rick? Look, Mayor Pete has been pushing this hate hoax along the lines of Jesse Smollett mm -hmm. for a, a very long time now, uh, several weeks. And I, I find it really ironic that Mayor Pete stayed silent about this so-called, uh, you know, hate hoax on him and others during, you know, 2015, 2016, 2017, when Mike Pence was governor. Uh, there was total silence. It, it's ironic that right about now, when he's starting his fundraising apparatus to run for president, that he comes up with this, with this idea and this attack. One of the things that really uh, bothers me about this attack is that Mike Pence is a friend of mine. Mike and Karen are, are great people. They're godly people. They're followers of Christ. They don't have hate uh, uh, in their heart for anyone. They know my partner. Uh, they have accepted us. Now, you ask me, uh, do we agree philosophically on every single issue? No, I don't agree philosophically with my hero Dietrich Bonhoeffer on everything. I don't agree with my partner on everything. But the gay community used to be the community pushing tolerance and diversity. We were the ones that were saying everyone should be able to accept and love each other. Now, suddenly, there's a whole community of people that are demanding that we all think alike. I think it's outrageous. And let me just say one more thing, is that when uh, Mayor Pete came out, uh, the vice president complimented him and said he holds him in high regard. Uh, the, the, the vice president or the then governor has said nothing but positive things about Mayor Pete. I think this is a total hate hoax, and I think it's outrageous. Well, thank you. Uh, Rick Grinnell, great to hear from you, the ambassador to Germany. Good to see you, sir. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Martha.